all you boys and girls out there. Hi, my name is Jordan. I am 11 years old. I live in Brooklyn. Or has helped me go to Yeshiva. I have learned Torah, Mitzvah, and of course, good Midot. Or's boys are the best champ in the world. They teach me good Midot and how to be a true Torah Jew. I hope you enjoy this video. And remember, be the sir. I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying, Dr. Meadows. But it's raining so hard. Come on, Schnooky, hurry up. Come on, please. Light the fuse. I got it. Schnooky, start the countdown. Yeah. And Dizzy? Yeah, Doc? Yeah. Hurry, hurry, get into the satellite. Hey. Sure thing, Doc. Did you remember hey. to put the salami sandwiches in? Yeah. Of course, of course. Of course! Oh. Hurry up, does he get in? What about my sitter? I've got the safe fill a there, you know? Wait, everything's there! Oh. Just get in! And put on your seatbelt! Oh. A satellite has taken off, it's really climbing fast. The neighborhood way down below still shaken from the blast. And in the Mito satellite, Dizzy's all alone Going round and round up there, cause space is now his home In orbit, he's ready for the flight. Turning all the dials and watching all those flashing lights. Snooky and the doctor will be working down below, pushing all the buttons that make the thing go. Good morning, and welcome to the six o'clock morning news. Henry Whiffen Fiffle reporting. Our lead story this morning concerns an unexplained and mysterious blast that occurred only a few hours ago at the corner of 14th Avenue and 56th Street in the Borough Park section of Brooklyn, New York. At this time, no one knows what caused the blast, and the only clues police have been able to find are three new bottles of ketchup sitting on the sidewalk next to the burn mark. In other news this morning, police are still searching for 17 monkeys that escaped from the Central Park Zoo. Police believe that the monkeys are hiding out somewhere in the park. In the borough of Queens, angry shoppers at the Kew Garden Hills A&P are demanding an explanation why there are no bananas in the fruit section. Store officials have no answer to the mysterious shortage and are scratching their heads for an explanation. Snooky! Yes, Dr. Meadows? We did it! No one saw the rocket! We have launched our satellite! Yeah, we did it. We really did it. Uh, why did we do it? Snooky, don't you realize what we can do now? With our meter satellite, we can now see whenever Jewish boys and girls are about to make a mistake with their meters, Chas And before they do, we can help them with our marvelous meters machine. Oh, boy, Dr. Meadows, that's great. Uh, but... What are Midos? What are Midos, Schnooky? Midos are... What's that? Oh boy, Schnooky! That's the telefibrillator, telling us that the Midos headlight is in orbit. Dizzy! Dizzy, can you hear me? I hear you just fine. Hey, Doc, do you realize that I'm the first Yeshiva Bokhar in outer space? Wow, what a view! Dizzy! Is the satellite working all right? Everything's fine up here, Doc. But, uh, are you sure you packed the ketchup? I can't find it anywhere. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. But I have a surprise for you. Look in the glove compartment. Oh, boy. I love surprises. Wow. My favorite food. 
chocolate-covered pickles. Gee, thanks, Doc. Well, I'll talk to you later. Over and out. Okay, Schnooky, it's time to turn on the marvelous Midas machine. Is it this button? Yeah, that's the one. Oy vey. It's not working. Something's wrong. Hmm. I must have forgotten to connect the Sanifreds to the Grabs link. No? They're connected. Uh, Dr. Needles. Uh, maybe, maybe I forgot to hypercharge the visiting. No, that, that's okay too. Uh, Dr. Needles. I, it, it must be a loose wire in the Google Dr. Needles. Schnooky, can't you see I'm busy? Uh, don't you have to put in the plug? The plug? The plug? Oh, the, the plug! Yes, Schnooky, put it into the wall. Come out! It's working! Midos alert. Midos alert. Already a Midos alert? Uh, what are we gonna do? Don't worry, Schnooky. The computer will tell us everything we need to know. Just watch the screen. Hey, I see a little boy and a little girl. They're sitting at a kitchen table, eating breakfast. Who are they, Dr. Needles? One second. The computer will tell us. Aha! Uh -huh. It says their names are Mandy and Mary. They're twins and they are six years old. Schnooky, turn up the sound. I want to hear what they are saying. Mary, I'm going to have cornflakes. Do you want some too? Yeah, I want you to pour me a lot. Mary, please go get the sugar. Okay. Give me the sugar. I want to pour it. No, you pour the cornflakes. I want to pour the sugar. Okay, you pour, but make sure you give me a lot. I'll go get the milk. Mary, it's too heavy. Come help. Okay, you got it? You sure you got it? Now lift it up. Careful, careful. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but Mommy's gonna be so angry. Let's go back to bed. But Mommy's gonna wanna know who did it. Well, I won't tell if you won't tell. Snooky, did you hear that? Yeah, Dr. Meadows. Menti and Miri are about to tell a lie. Quick, turn on the sound projector right and aim it at the kitchen. I'll get the MS tape. Ah, here it is. Snooky, put the tape in and press the send button. Okay, Dr. Meadows. What's that, Miri? I don't believe it. There's music coming out of the cornflakes box. Who spilled the milk on the kitchen floor? Not me. Not me. Who took a pen and wrote on the wall? No, it was not me. Who let in the neighbor's cat? Not me. Not me. And who sat on my shopper's hat? No, it was not me. Midrash Never tell a lie Hashem knows just what happened There's no reason to deny Honesty is MS Make sure all your words are true So Abba, Ima and Hashem will be so proud of you Mandy? Miri? Yes, Mommy? Who spilled the milk on the kitchen floor? We did, Mommy. Well, you both know where the schmatas are. 
Please go get some and wipe up the mess you made. Okay. But Mendy, Miri, I want you to know I'm very proud of you for telling the truth. Snooky, it worked! Baruch Hashem! Did you see how that song made them tell the truth? I'm so excited! This is terrific! Uh, you know, Midos. all the kids need is just a little reminder now and then. Uh, Dr. Midos? Yes, Snooky, what is it? I'm hungry. Do we have any cornflakes? Boy, Dr. Minos must be so tired. He fell asleep right here at the computer. I'm gonna move him over here and put him on the bed. There, Dr. Minos, I'll take care of everything. Oh no, what am I gonna do if there's a Minos alert? Uh, I saw Dr. Minos run the machine. But I never did it by myself. Midos alert. Uh, what am I going to do? Uh, uh, uh. When Dr. Midos heard the alert last time, uh, I think he pushed this yellow button. Uh, no, that's the popcorn machine. Uh, uh, wait, it says on the screen, push the green button. Yeah, that's the right one. Here comes the picture. It looks like the young boys from the neighborhood playing baseball in the park. Come on, He missed that by a mile. He's going to strike out for sure. Move it. Quiet. Zama will hear you. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Stay right to He can't hit for beans. Ruvain, please. Zalman's going to hear you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stay right the way you're out. See, see, I told you so. Zalman is coming. He'll hear you. I don't care if he hears me. We never should have picked him for the team. He never gets a hit. Poor Zalman. That Ruven really hurt his feelings. He's going home by himself all alone with his head down. If Ruve knew how bad Zalman feels, he never would have said those things. I've got to show Ruve what he did. Wait a minute. What's this orange button? It says Mind Reader. I can send Zalman's thoughts right over to Ruve. Ruve! Who's that? Ruve, there's something I want you to hear. Who's talking to me? What's going on? Just listen, Ruve. You really need to hear this. I always try so hard to do my very best, but I never learned how to play the game. So why does everybody make so much fun of me? I'm feeling so ashamed. Oh, how I wish someone would be my friend. Accept me for the way I am And together we could play and share If only somebody would care <sighs> Zalman, Zalman, wait up! I have to tell you something! What do you want, Ruvain? Zalman, I'm really sorry for making you feel bad. I realize now what I did was wrong. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm sorry too, Ruben. What are you sorry about, Zalman? I'm sorry I struck out. Oh, don't worry about that, Zalman. It was only a game, and that's not important. Let's be friends. You mean it, Ruben? Really? Sure I do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to hold the bat so that next time you'll hit a home run. Okay? Oh, boy. Great. Wow. Look what I did. I got Zalman and Ruven to be the best of friends, and I did it all by myself. I'm a genius. I'm really great. I'm really terrific. Me, Snooky Shapiro. Midos alert. Oh, no. Midos Another alert. Midos alert. I wonder who did something wrong this time. Hey, 
That's me on the screen. And the computer says to play the Gaiva tape. Uh-oh. I guess I better play it. Hey there, Mr. Showoff. You think you're really great. Now listen, Mr. Showoff. You're making a mistake. Hey there, Mr. Giver, you think you're really hot. Now listen, Mr. Giver, I'm sorry, but you're not. Hey there, Mr. Mountain, standing there so tall. Don't brag because you think you're big, you're not that big at all. Cause there's a tiny mountain that said it wasn't high. That's why we got the toy Ron, little horsey nigh. The Tyra says be humble in everything you do. You're strong or smart or beautiful It's not because of you All the good things that We have come from above Anan of knows Hashem Is giving him these gifts with love Hey there Mr. Showoff You think you're really great Now listen Mr. Showoff You're making a mistake Uh, you were sleeping in the chair, so I put you there, Dr. Meadows. But what is all this popcorn doing around me? I'm buried in popcorn. Uh, I guess I turned on the popcorn machine by accident when you were asleep, Dr. Meadows. Uh, I forgot to turn it off. I'll turn it off now. But what are we going to do about this mess? Uh, I'm going to eat it all up. There's somebody at the door. Who could it be? Uh, I don't know, Dr. Meadows. Uh, who is it? Open up. This is the police. I better get the door, Snooky. Yes? What is it, officer? Is this your house, sir? Yes, it is, officer. Is, is there something wrong? There are some very big antennas on the roof of this house. Do they belong to you? Yes, they do. Do you have a license for all this equipment? A license? I didn't know I need a license. Well, then I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to take down those antennas and shut off your computers right away. You mean turn off the marvelous Meadows machine? What kind of machine did you Meadows say? Meadows alert. Meadows What's that? Alert. Come in, officer. Let me show you what the marvelous Meadows machine can do. Dr. Meadows, I see two boys on the screen. They're at the zoo. Look at that big gorilla. <laughs> hey, the boys are walking over to the hippopotamuses. Turn up the sound, Schnooky. <laughs> Bero, look at that funny looking hippo. He's waking up and coming out of the water. Whoa, I never saw anything so fat before in all my life, Slimy. Hey, Bero, do you still have that water gun I got you for Hanukkah? Oh, uh, yeah, Slimey. I got it right here in my pocket. Oh, good. Give it to me. Okay, Slime. Here it is. Thanks, Barrel. Hey, Slimey. What are you going to do with my water gun? <laughs> I'm going to screw that hippo till he gets back into the water. Hey! Don't do that! You, you leave that hippo alone! That's Tsar Balechayim! Snooky, they can't hear you. Let's play the Tsar Balechayim tape. That'll stop them. You, you mean that you can stop those boys from here in this room? Sure, officer. Just watch. Slimey, don't squirt. That hippo is singing. I'm a hippopotamus. From my top to my bottomus. And I know I'm pretty ugly and fat. Though there's not much I like to do, except to sleep the whole day through. All the hippopotami have hippopotamus feelings too. All 
all the hippopotamuses and hippopotamisters have hippopotamus feelings. Soy me, what are you doing? I'm letting out the water from your gun. I don't want to hurt the hippo's feelings. Let's go buy some peanuts and feed the elephants. I'm going to be real nice to animals from now on. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. This machine is really marvelous. I'm going to let you keep these machines going. Keep up the good work. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Goodbye, officer. Thank you. Duck! Hey, Duck! Did you hear me? I can hear you, Dizzy. What's up? Duck! What's that? What's what? What's that red and black thing I see out the window? I don't know. What does it look like? It's too far away. I can't see it clearly, but I think it's coming towards me. Dizzy, don't worry. It's probably just a shooting star or a comet. Okay, Doc. Whatever you say. I just thought I'd let you know. Over and out. He does alert. Windows alert. Snooky, quick! We have work to do. What do you see on the screen? It looks like a mailman with a big package walking up to somebody's front door. The computer says that house belongs to the Fremel family in Flatbush. Snooky, turn up the sound. I got a package here for uh, Chaya and Leah from Mill. Chaya, Leia, there's a package for you. I think it's your Hanukkah present from Bubby and Zadie in Miami. Oh, boy, let me open it, Mommy. It's so big. Wow, it's beautiful. What is it? It's a computer, children, and you can learn all kinds of things with it. You can even play games with it. Can we play with it now, please? Okay. Have fun, kids. I'm going to the kitchen to make supper. Wow, look at all these different games. Let's play this number game, Leia. No, Chaya, let's do this spelling game. It's much more fun. Mommy! What's the problem? Mommy, Leia won't let me play with the spelling game. Mommy, Chaya's trying to tell me what to do. She never lets me play with what I want. I can't believe it. You just got this present and already you're fighting over it. Okay, that's it. I'm turning off the computer. Both of you go to your rooms. Oh, Mommy! Boy, Dr. Meadows, Chaya and Leia just can't seem to get along. That's right, Schnucky. <sighs> Kids are not supposed to argue and fight like that. We better play them the Sholem tape. What a terrible thing. What a terrible sight When people just argue and bicker and fight They cry and they kvetch They holler and shout That just isn't what the Torah's about Shalom is peace and Shalom's the way A Dave Shalom seeks peace every day He always is quick to forget and forgive and that's how Hashem wants us to live. Shalom is peace and Shalom's the way. Hey, Roy, Shalom seeks peace every day. He always is quick to forget and forgive. And that's how Hashem wants us to live. Psst, Chaya. You can play with your number game. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to fight anymore either. We'll take turns and we'll both have fun. Boy, Dr. Midos, that Shalom song really works. Chaya and Leia are going to play so nice together from now on. Hey, Doc, did you hear me? I hear you, Dizzy. What is it? You know that red and black thing I told you about? It's getting closer. I think it's some kind of spaceship. It's still too far away to tell for sure. Oy vey is me. A spaceship? I don't like the smell of this. I don't smell anything. What's so bad, Doc? 
I wouldn't mind some company. And besides, maybe they have some ketchup. Be careful up there, Dizzy, and let me know if anything new happens. Okay, Doc. Talk to you later. Over and out. Dr. Meadows, what's this tape over here? Oh, you face, Shooty. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to play you that tape to show you what Meadows are. But I know what Meadows are now. Good Meadows are when someone tells the truth, doesn't ever embarrass anybody, isn't a show-off, is even nice to animals, and of course, never ever gets into fights, Chas Vishola. I'll bet there are lots of other good Meadows too. Snooky, I'm really proud of you. You understand what Meadows are all about. Uh, Dr. Meadows, I'd still like to hear that tape. Could I listen to it anyway? <laughs> of course, Snooky. It's a great song. I'd like to hear it myself. Like a bird without its wings Or a bell that doesn't ring Like a plane without a pilot Or a heart that does not beat Like soup without a bowl Or a bagel with no hole A Jew without good meadows Is simply incomplete Meadows are the way we act And how we think and feel The Torah shows us just what we should do a candle with a flame or a picture in its frame like sailing on the sea beneath the sky without a cloud like a bottle filled with wine or a clock that's right on time a Jew that has good Midos can stand up tall and proud Midos are the way we act and how we think Geweld! Another Midas alert! What do you see on the screen, Schnucky? I see two boys. One of them is hiding in a closet. It looks like they're playing hide and go seek. Hmm. The computer says their names are Shimon and Yehuda. Shimon is five years old and Yehuda is seven. Please turn up the sound, Schnucky. Okay, here it goes. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I'm getting warmer. You're in the closet. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, Uda, you got me. Now it's your turn to hide. I'm going to start counting. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Shimon, Yehuda, Mommy's very tired and needs to take a nap. Could you boys please play very quietly so I can get some rest? Okay, Mommy. We'll be quiet. Hey, Shimon. What do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? I want to read that new Alamenu we just got. But Yehuda, I don't know how to read so good. Don't worry, Shimon. I'll read to you. Thanks, Yehuda. I don't understand it, Dr. Meadows. Yehuda and Shimon aren't doing anything wrong. As a matter of fact, they're being very, very good by letting their mommy sleep and helping each other. Why did the Meadows alert go off? Is the marvelous Meadows machine broken? Hey, Doc! Hey, Doc! Can you hear me? What is it, Dizzy? Doc, the whole satellite is shaking. Something's wrong. The satellite must be on the blink. That's why we got a wrong Midas alert about Yehuda and Jimin. Wow! Look at the size of that thing! What thing? What thing? The red and black thing! It's a gigantic spaceship! It's got a big steel mouth with iron teeth! The mouth! It's opening! Oh no! It's going towards me! Oh no! It's gonna swallow up the whole satellite! Let me out of here! Get me out of here, Doc! It's got me! Goodbye, Doc! Dizzy! Dizzy! Where are you? Dizzy, come in! <laughs> what was that noise? I face me! I give 
does he want from us, Dr. Midos? Snooky, he can't stand it whenever boys and girls do mitzvahs and, and have good meetings. He's trying to stop us from helping them. Oh, wow! Look at the screen! Who's that? That's him! That's right, Midos. It's me! <laughs> Have I got a plan? Midos all the way. 